why you cannot use silicon caulking. You cannot fix a roof seam on a metal roof with silicon caulking. Let me explain to you why. First of all, let's understand why the seam is leaking. It's leaking somewhere here. The roof is in very good shape. There's no rust, there's no holes, but you can see water ponds here. See the water? This is ponding. You can see the dirt here. You can see the, the where the water's been sitting here. It comes slightly over this edge and then it flows underneath the seam back, backwards. That's what causes this leak. Now, a lot of people will come and they will do this, caulking. See this caulking here? I'm gonna put a bead of caulking here just to show you why you cannot do that. The caulking, the surface that the caulking is sitting on is only about a quarter of an inch. Caulking is not for fixing metal roof. It's for doors and windows. They say it on here. For windows, doors, siding, and trim. Look at it. This two panels, they expand and contract. And that quarter of an inch, will, it, will, it will break loose right there. Within a month, it will break loose. Now, what happens is, when it breaks loose, it breaks loose from the top here, not at the bottom. Now you created a wall that prevents the water from flowing over here and it forces the water further back into the two seams. Absolutely fatal. You cannot do that. All right. So I remove this and I want to show you how to fix it. You can tell that people try to seal the seam with just liquid sealer. You can see they painted some liquid sealer over this everywhere. But it can never work. You cannot just do it with paint over everything and think it's gonna work. No liquid can seal a seam like that. What you need to do is you need to clean it up a little bit. So I use a grinder. Alright, I made it nice and smooth. You can see. Look at it, nice and smooth. And then I use super silicone seal, like that there. And um, I put a fleece over that. So let me start. You use a super silicone seal. And, and this is how you fix the seam on a metal roof, okay? Very simple if you know what to do but you cannot just put a liquid sealer over a seam without the fleece, you cannot. It doesn't work. I put the fleece down, cut it to size, and I don't go over the screws, okay? I stay shy of the screws, because if you go over the screws, it's not gonna work because it's gonna make a bump and it's not gonna seal properly. So the screws I dab with silicone already, and now I'm coming in with a fleece and I cover the rest of the seam just shy of the screws, okay? Make sure the fleece lies flat every corner where the corners are you need to make sure the fleece is flat there otherwise it's not going to work the water is going to get underneath it right in the corner there look, that's, that's super important you cannot not get the fleece in that very corner there, then you, it's going to leak. And it can rain within a half an hour after you did it. It can rain. It doesn't matter. This will not leak. This is flexible. The metal can move over each other like that. It will not crack the, the silicone or tear it apart. Let me show you what I did um, two months ago. Look here. Look how nice this is. Beautiful. Very, very solid, nice, doesn't crack, and it doesn't cause leaks. I did these screws a few months ago. Look, I tightened them up, and that's how I did this entire roof. So, if you have a shipping warehouse like this, a huge shipping warehouse, the best thing is to do, tighten the screws up, like I did there. If you don't, you need to torque all the screws on the on the roof if after 10 years it's a maintenance thing you talk it now while you're talking the screws you're gonna 
find some places where it's been rusted. The water came through the screw and it rusted the screw out. Watch this one. I think it's this one. So I cannot talk it, see? This one I can talk, right, talk. Right. You see? All right, I forgot to show you what type of torque I use on the screws on the roof and I just wanted to insert this for you. I use a Milwaukee uh, drill. This is a compact wrench. Never use a compact wrench to, to torque the screws on the roof. But instead use a, a drill that has a torque on it. And you can see the torque. I use almost the maximum torque on this, like 13 or 14. And it will stop. It will not go tighter than that. So if you use this Milwaukee, that's how strong you want it. All right, let's go back to the video. This one I can. That means this is rusted. So I'm going to take it out. Yeah. And look at it. All rusted through. So I replace it with a bigger screw. Like that. Okay. I put a bigger screw in. Hopefully it works. That's it. It was not too good. It didn't talk too well. So it was not tight enough for me. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a, a screw next to it. And that's what you should do because the, the screw does two purpose. Well, the purpose of the screw is to get these metal plates tight to each other. And this one was just spinning again. Watch. No doesn't hold okay so i'm going to put a screw next to it you have to do that to make it to get the thing done okay that's it that's how you fix it now let's fix another something else i'm going to show you So in this case, I tried to put a screw in there. It didn't want to hold. You can see there's a big hole there. All right. So instead of, you have to cover that hole. You cannot just do any, leave it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small piece of polyester fleece. I see. Yeah. So you put that, you, you do that. To cover around the screw. Okay. And that's it. Cover the hole. There you go. Beautiful. And the repair is done. So now we know this is not. But it was leaking here because just because I see the rust, the screw was rusted through. And I couldn't put another screw in its place. So that's what maintenance is, okay? You need to do maintenance on your roof. Some of the reason why you tighten the screws up, you'll find that some screws are loose and rusted and you replace it with a bigger screw that is the whole idea you go and tighten each screw up individually and you find a loose one you replace it with a bigger screw and that's how you go and fix the entire roof all right i tell you this is the best way do it and you save yourself a lot of money see you on the next video